Hi everyone, my name is Cisco here with Gentleman Gaming and welcome to our very first painting tutorial. Um, if you have any comments on or feedback on how we're doing things, please feel free to shoot them in the comments below. Uh, but let's get started. Just doing some painting here, so I'm going to go ahead and start painting uh, Vulcan from the Salamanders. Uh, got this model, uh, found it online, um, either on Colts 3D or Thingiverse, can't remember which one. Uh, but it's a cool looking fig. So right now I'm just priming the model and we're just giving it a good coat, a uh, good even coat of uh, brown black from Monuments Hobby. Um, all the paints I'm using today are going to be from Monuments Hobby, um, with uh, the exception of maybe two. Alright, so right now I'm going to go ahead and start uh, creating highlights. Uh, just finished priming the model, so I'm using AK Titanium White Ink. And I'm just going to go ahead and spray some highlights. Um, the angle I'm kind of looking for uh, once I start spraying this is going to be kind of coming from the gun side, spraying across his body, and then uh, a little bit coming from his hammer kind of give it a nice oil cell effect. So right now I'm just spraying the model, making sure it's brightest towards the gun and then you know just fading it a little bit out. Alright, so now that I have the uh, white done, I'm going to go ahead and use a transparent green. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray everything that's going to be green on his armor. So I'm just going to do his legs, arms, uh, backpack, and I'm just going to try and keep those highlights that I created. So uh, making sure it's a little bit lighter towards on the white side and then a little bit darker on the darker side and the nice thing about these transparent paints is it does help with uh, that effect that you're trying to get so um, it's just building up those layers uh, when you're using those transparent paints
All right, so now this one, this paint is not a transparent paint, so this is just green, and it's gonna be a little bit brighter, um, kind of give that, give you that normal salamander bright green, um, and this is kind of uh, gonna be on the bright side, so I'm gonna uh, hug the sides that I had painted white, so I kind of want to keep those shadows and. Um, accentuate the sides that uh, are highlighted. All right, so right now I have a bright green, and this is gonna go over just to give it an extra highlight, uh, make it a little bit more brighter. So this green has a lot more yellow in it, and this, I just really wanna give it that extra highlight um, before I tone it down a little bit. All right, so uh, I had just painted the cape red, uh, just started using red, um, and this is a transparent red. So um, like the green, transparent green before, it's really gonna pick up those white highlights and make those areas brighter, and those dark shaded areas, it's gonna make them darker. So I'm gonna try and keep that effect going on the cape. And my thoughts for the cape, um, I was gonna make it kind of flame, flame uh, looking. So it kind of has that gradual um, from red to orange to yellow look without it being too flame-like. So it's just gonna be gradual, not as um, not as aggressive as you would paint those flames, kind of like his flames on his iron halo and the flames on his shoulder pads. So it's just going to be more of a gradual gradient from orange, from red to orange to yellow. So right here is the transparent orange, and I'm going to go about halfway um, down the cape and spray it over. So with it being transparent, it's just going to build up on those uh, on those white highlights that I had done earlier, and it's going to make those areas pop a little bit better with. Uh, a little extra brightness. And right now, after I'm done with the orange, I'm going to use a transparent yellow. And this is helping with that gradient look instead of it being too aggressive with um, the more uh, the regular colors. So here we go with the yellow. And I'm just going to kind of do the lower third of the cape. Alright, so I got a little too ahead of myself and start the OSL with the turquoise and went ahead and sprayed the hammer and then over spraying onto the miniature itself and then added a little bit white to the turquoise to try and accentuate the highlight on the hammer. Uh, normally I would do this at the end uh, but I kind of just want to get the airbrushing done all at once and then work on the details and it kind of worked out at the end. Alright and here we are working on the details so I'm just using a bone color here 
from Army Painter. And we're just using the bone, um, kind of like the skull areas. I'm going to use bone uh, on the crest on his chest. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and paint the copper part of the flamer copper from GW. Alright, so I'm, right here I'm going to go ahead and use a transparent brown on um, all the scales on the back of the cake. I'm um, just putting little drops on each scale bump um, to give it that scaly look. Um, once I'm done with the scales, um, I'm going to end up coming back over with a bone color to kind of uh, break it up. and add some extra pop of color on the cape. I'm also going to add some brown on the front. Um, I was thinking about just dry brushing the front of this tabard there um, with a bone color. And now I'm going to start working on the flames. So I'm using that transparent red um, to go ahead and start off with the flames and I'm going to work from the bottom up going from a transparent red to the transparent orange then a regular orange and then a transparent yellow then a regular yellow and I'm going to do that the same way for the flames on his shin and his shoulder pads. Alright, so here right here I'm starting to work in that transparent orange. So I'm working about two thirds uh, upwards and uh, just rubbing in that orange just to give it that little gradient. And then I'm going to come back with a regular orange 
so that the orange can be picked up a little bit more brightly as compared to just a soft gradient. Transparent yellow. Kind of just gonna start working that fade and then coming in with the yellow just for the tip. Then the same for the shoulder and the shin. So right here I'm coming in with the uh, bone color just to add some extra highlights to those uh, dragon scales. Just adding that little extra color uh, just so it's not so dark and plain on the back. And then I'm just going to go ahead and paint those dragon bones as well. And then I noticed there's a couple more dragon scales on the top of his head, so just adding some extra uh, bone accents on the top of his head as well. And then just painting his uh, the staff of his hammer black, and then I'm going to end up dry brushing a gun metal over it. And then the same is going to go for the hose that connects to the flamer. And then I just went ahead and skipped past the boring part of the base. Um, just painted the chaos model at the bottom um, in black, getting some silver highlights. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, that'd be awesome. And thank you for joining our very first painting video. Thanks a lot.